Joining us now from London is Royal Commentator Josh Rom. Josh, great to speak with you. Hospital administrators are investigating three staff members for allegedly trying to access the medical records of the Princess of Wales during her recovery from abdominal surgery back in January. The London Clinic has been a go-to hospital for other members of the royal family, including King Charles, who's, of course, undergoing treatment for cancer. Uh, Josh, what's the latest on this? Well, the latest is, is that three members of staff are believed to be suspended for attempting to access the private medical records of uh, Princess Catherine. Uh, let's let's be clear here. This this is huge. This is a massive security breach. This is one of not just one of the best hospitals in London, but one of the best private hospitals in the entire country, known for its discreet uh, for its discreet treatment of members of the royal family. We know that uh, this was also the hospital where His Majesty the King underwent. Uh, that procedure for that enlarged prostate as well. So uh, although it's not believed that his records were also a part of the, of, of the breach here, um, we know that uh, the CEO of the hospital has broken his silence, stating that they will take disciplinary measures here. Uh, we know that Princess Catherine has been informed of the potential breach here, of this potential private medical record security breach here. Um, this is one of the two go-to hospitals in London that I would say, of course, not just uh, the Lindo Wing in Paddington where Princess Catherine gave birth to all three of her children, but also we know that King Edward VII Hospital, another, another prestigious private hospital, um, has also been the location where other royals have been treated, such as Princess Anne, such as Her Majesty the Queen, um, or I should say Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Um, but this is pretty significant and it is yet another uh, hurdle, so to speak, for Princess Catherine. This is yet another thing to add to the mm. already long list, the, the litany of problems that she has been facing in her road to recovery. Um, I mean, I, I just want to put it out there now. This is getting absolutely ridiculous the amount of conspiracy theories that we've seen online people calling into question even tmz is uh calling into question the 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 video of of princess catherine that they themselves ran on their channel which is absolutely it, it is beyond ridiculous and actually you know, I once agree with a certain member of The View, Whoopi Goldberg, who literally, as, as the other members of the panel delved into conspiracy theories, she literally sat on back and, and said the points of, we know where she is, the palace have stated where she would be, enough's enough yeah. already. And it's very true, the palace have said that she will not be seen until after Easter. They have said that she is at home in Windsor recovering, what more do we need? We've now had, alongside this video, we've now had two paparazzi sightings of Princess Catherine, one with her mum on the Windsor Estates in a car, the other one in another car with her husband, Prince William, whilst going to an appointment before Prince William attended the Commonwealth service. That is on top of the video. And bearing in mind, okay, there were a litany of problems with the Mother's Day video, but the fact of the matter is, what is not being put into doubt is it, it is a, a picture of uh, Princess Catherine smiling with her three children. Enough is mm. enough. In the words of the Sun newspaper on their front page, lay off Kate. You really have to feel for Kate there. She's been the centre of this controversy. She's been the centre of conspiracy theories. And as you say, she's been cited recently. And now she's been the subject to a, a privacy breach when she's been undergoing abdominal surgery. It's certainly been a tough year for her and we really need to keep the support behind her for when she does uh, come out again and, and engage in those royal engagements. Let's just take a look at that video that was released by TMZ and The Sun uh, or just over over the weekend and it showed Princess Kate shopping with Prince William in Windsor. As you mentioned, the internet remains unconvinced. 
Josh, when do you think the world is going to calm down? I mean, the world will only calm down about this, I think. I mean, I hope the new cycle will allow the world to calm down, but I think they will, the only way that for, I, I think literally at this point in time, the only way that Princess Catherine can prove to the conspiracy theorists that nothing is going on is if she literally recorded a selfie video or appeared on television going, I'm okay, please stop. And I'm gonna be honest, that's not going to happen because yes, Yes, although the palace may have or may not have handled this whole situation uh, badly, especially when it came to the Mother's Day photo, if they do that, it will make them look like they're bowing down to the mob, to the demand of the mob, when it's very clear. They said, we're not going to be issuing uh, any updates unless they're really significant. She's doing well. She is continuing to recover from her surgery. She is spending time with her family. That's what the palace have said. And if they bow down to the mob and, and succumb to any demands, it might make them look weak. So although yes, uh, they might, they may have handled this whole situation rather badly, I think the, the, it is actually understandable why the palace is taking the approach that they are taking. And it's exactly as I said to you earlier this week, Gabriella. you know, the video, it wasn't shot by a professional photographer. It wasn't even shot by a paparazzi. This was, this was a video that was shot by someone at the Windsor Farm Shop that, that, that then, you, you know, get, that gave the, the video over to the media. So it was, it was a grainy video. So even if it was... It, it is as clear as day, but of course this is not, it's a blurry video. It's not going to be enough for the conspiracy theorists out there. The only thing that will satisfy their insatiable and quite deranged demand here for information is if Catherine herself either recorded a selfie-like video or appeared on television. And that is not going to happen. I don't think it even it should happen. Let her recover in peace. Let her spend this time out recovering with her family. We've seen that she's doing well. We've seen that she's out and about. We've seen that she's smiling after looking at that video on the screen, I am more convinced than ever that it is indeed Princess Catherine. It's time to lay off.